inertial mass and gravitational mass. One may determine the mass of a body by measuring the acceleration produced on it with a known force F equals to ma that implies m equals to f by a. The mass thus determined is called inertial mass. Here over a plank a body of mass m is kept. When the plank is pulled with certain acceleration a immediately the body also acquires the same acceleration a but in opposite direction. That's why it moves in this direction and falls onto the floor. You see here this is the acceleration a if the force applied on the mass is f then its inertial mass can be calculated according to the formula f is equal to m a that implies m is equal to f by a. To measure it the body should be in accelerating motion thus it is hard to measure the inertial mass alternatively the mass may be determined by measuring the weight of the body that is w equals to mg that implies m equals to w by g. The mass thus measured is called gravitational mass. While measuring it the body should be at rest therefore it is easy to measure the gravitational mass. Practically inertial mass is always equal to gravitational mass. Think between the two which one would you prefer while measuring the mass of a body? While the earth is orbiting the sun, it spins about itself. Now, let us discuss the variation of g due to spinning of earth.